What up, spooks? So, <laughs> do you like my living room? Do you like this? You know what's playing in the background? Do you know what that is? This is hard to, do you know what that is? That's Supernatural. It's like my new favorite show. It's like our theme show, isn't it? Um, okay, anyway, so the video you're about to see, I recorded <laughs> um, during our Into the Woods show. It was just one of those behind the scene things when we had a double show, so it was our Saturday show. And I meant to put this up earlier, but I got sick right after our show and I could not get out of bed. I don't I couldn't do anything, really. So I didn't do it then. And then when I got better, which was you know, this uh, this early this week, I got better finally. And then um the auxiliary cord one of these that hooks to my phone, to my computer, the one that I had originally, it stopped working. It wouldn't keep my, it wouldn't, it basically wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't charge my phone. It wouldn't even acknowledge my phone was there. It wouldn't put it on the computer. So I had to get another one. So I know. I'm sorry. Seraphine, I'm sorry. I didn't forget. I promise. So what you're going to see is oh, two weeks ago, it's two weeks ago from now, so two weeks ago when I was in the show of Into the Woods, this is our behind the scenes video. So take it back to the past, guys. Hi, spooks. Welcome to my kitchen. So um, I have no makeup on. There's a reason for that. Uh, I decided I'm going to try this. Welcome to my living room. I decided I'm going to try and do another vlog idea, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a theater show. For those of you who don't know, it's like a grand, big thing. Well, to us it is. Um, and that's the reason I don't have makeup on, is because I have to get makeup on when I get to the show. Um, and it's a lot. But I decided you're going to come with me and see what happens behind the scenes of Little Theater's production of Into the Woods. Uh, so yeah, first, I say uh, a lot, I realize that, and I'm sorry for that. So the first thing we need to do, um, is I leave in about ten minutes, and I'm gonna go get coffee. Because coffee is the elixir of life. For, well, coffee and anything caffeinated is the elixir of life today, because this is the first time in Little Theater's history, I guess, that we are doing a double show today. Because I have a show today at, um, two, and then we have another show at a regular time at eight. So, I'm gonna be there all day. I need some caffeine. So, that's my first agenda, and then the second agenda, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get coffee, and then after that I go to the theater and I'm there all day. So, I dressed very comfy today. Basically. Sorry if you didn't see the shoes, but they're comfortable too. And look, I'm wearing my Adam's Family shirt. We're really representing spooks today. All right, so let me go. No, I'm not even gonna tell you what I'm doing was I, um, one night I walked on stage with my glasses on through most of the prologue, and then when I got off I realized, oh crap, I had them on still. So, glasses case, so I know what they are and I don't lose them next stage. Oh. That would be the dog. Do you want to see the dog? The buddy. This is who I missed all through New York, by the way. Look at this face. Buddy, look at that face. Did you help me learn all my lines? Did you? Oh, thank you for that. He says hello. It's really hot for wearing a long sleeve shirt. Um, can I see how much I just love Dunkin' Donuts, by the way? Dunkin' Donuts is like my staple coffee now because I found out it's cheaper and better tasting than any other thing. And Smyrna doesn't have a lot of like coffee places. Like We don't have a Starbucks. We just have McDonald's and Dunkin'. Um, but I love them even more now because for no good reason whatsoever, they gave me this thing of water. And I'm going to take it thankfully because dancing in the dress that you're going to see later that I'm in is very hot. Anyway, this is the back side of our theater. We had to park um, back here. You see cars back there. We had to park back here because um, we're not allowed to park where the audience has to park. But we had to go through the... I don't know if you can see it or not. We had to go through the back door entrance right there. Um, which is going to be fun trying to carry the water and the coffee. But thankfully, I have my theater bag, so it should make my life a little easier. Let's go inside to the green room. Follow me. Alright, so this is where you first walk into. This is our makeup room. And we can see little theater's history up on the walls. 
well, not that wall, but this wall, and all over the place. This way. We're going to go into the green room, and guess what? It's not green. I don't think there's actually a green room out there that's green. The couch is where we sit. Yes, look at the mics. I can show you mine. Mine's really easy to find. Mine is called Jim. I don't know why it's called Jim, but his name is Jim. Nobody else has a name except mine. So we're going to take Jim. That's Gail. Hi. Gail is our, is Granny and Cinderella's mother. I'm a multitude of characters. She is a multitude of characters. And then we walk into our dressing room and look, more little theater history. It's been around forever. And then I see my wig. And then there's me. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yes, this is where we all get dressed at. All the costumes. And this, this is a cow costume, by the way. We actually have a cow. But this thing right here, this is mine. This is my Princess Peach outfit, as we call it. And then that's my hair. Unlike most people in this show, I have to get dressed completely to have my mic on because I have a wig mic and the costume doesn't go over the wig. So, joy for me. It's really hot though. Who's in here? It's cold today. I'm happy. And again, Duncan gave me free I'm so water. I'm so happy. You're so happy. <laughs> hopefully, today, hopefully today we get laughs and I'll be happy at that. I want that guy to come back. I do. We had an amazing guy last night. Last night we had a guy that laughed at virtually everything we said and he had this big belly laugh. Which Raised made me happy. He did. <laughs> made us so happy because Thursday night we didn't have any laughs. The crowd was dead. Oh, favorite chair. That was the zombie night. Yeah, we had zombie <laughs> night. That literally was because no one laughed at anything funny. They didn't laugh at the cow. They didn't laugh at me or my sister, who you'll meet later. Uh, they didn't laugh at anything funny. Which makes me wonder what are you on? What are you smoking, I'm people? There was zombies. Yeah. Pretty much. So hopefully tonight, well today and tonight, because we do have two shows, watch me, be, watch me slowly become a zombie. I will slowly become a zombie for you guys. So hopefully tonight we'll have better um, people looking and watching us tonight. I probably won't show you much of that because I have to be on for quite a little bit of it. But we'll see what I can get away with. How about that? Awesome. Ready to see more of my cast. This is Little this Red. This Boy, is our stage oil, manager. The That's like the cow. Long. What does it taste like? Uh, this oh, is yeah, the man who makes me get into my it's mic just try the every sauce. day. Yeah. Part one. Makeup done. Uh, How pretty is this? I always tell you want to put this bright red lipstick on. I feel like I'm in Chicago. Someone starts singing so black tango for me. But anyway, so this is this is my face. Now I've got the wig and the mic and the costume and the do my check. Here we go. That'd be our speaker. It's up there. That shows us where we are in the show, so you'll probably hear a lot of that. But this is this is my character. This is Florinda. You, you notice that the sisters have different names depending on which version of the show they're in. Disney is <laughs> Uh, Anastasia Drizella and Roger and Hammerstein, it's Fly P and Minerva, and in this one it's Florinda and Lucinda. Has begun. Look at this. Oh, you know this is the gorgeous person who gets me in here every day that we do this show. Slowly, slowly, little by little, she kills me in the inside. I'm sorry. It's okay. She does it for fun. But now we're gonna tighten it. I gotta find Isn't this exciting? Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, film that. It's, yeah, it's basically. Do you see her? This is what she does for fun. <laughs> this is how she takes her aggression out. She takes it out on me. So some more cast members. Well, We've already seen Gail. This is her in her beautiful costume for the mother. This, this is, is me in my beautiful costume. This beautiful is our daughter. This is Cinderella, everybody. Cinderella, Cinderella. This is our Cinderella. I get to slap her later. I'm excited. <laughs> And then so this much. is Jack's mother. Oh, hello. This is Laura. Here's my bonnet. There's the bonnet. <laughs> now I'm complete. Now she's complete. We'll go see the guys later when they're dressed. Because I'm not allowed in the, in the room with them. I'll just bust in there. I should bust in there. 
I know everyone you're miss I know you're missing Alejandro's face. He's somewhere in here making faces at you. Get out the door. Hi, it's Seraphine. <laughs> My hands smell good. I know that stuff is nice. Don't you love our cast members here? She is. What do you do, Seraphine? I'm the assistant stage manager. What is your primary job, though? Milky Dressing White. Dressing Milky White. Dressing Milky White. It's a process because she's protesting. How is she protesting? She runs into the corner and set and falls on the ground and says, "I am demonstrating peaceful resistance," and then kicks me <laughs> in inappropriate places. <laughs> Never a dull moment yeah, in this show. Funny. Welcome to the world of actors, everybody. Be prepared. I am demonstrating peaceful resistance. <laughs> the constant struggle of getting the cow in her costume. We don't have that long to get you in it. Autumn. <laughs> we gotta get our I haven't gotten any calcium since 1999! <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this to me! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just watching. Say hi to the viewers at home. And there's a struggle. This is what she looks like in a costume. Look at that. This is her dance. She's going to dance for us today. She gets the best applause in the entire freaking show, man. And look, there she is. People stood up for her, guys. This is ridiculous. More view of everybody in this cast. There's John. There's Matt. This is, that's Lance as the wolf. He'll be later be a prince. The new Alejandro. <laughs> Where you see more members? This is our Rapunzel. Say hi. This is our witch. This is our baker's wife. Hello. That's her husband, but he's a techie. There's my father in the background. Over there is our director. Tech, tech, tech. Cow, tech, tech, actor. Not just any tech, I'm the sound guy. He's going into the set. Let's go look at the set. You'll die. More techs. Text, text, text. Follow, follow, follow. Look, prop, 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 prop. Prop, prop, prop. And set. Into the woods, man. Director and stage manager. Welcome back. I know you all want to be here, don't you? This is what I look like after my quick change. This is my full Florinda outfit, and that's the full Lucinda outfit. This is literally what we do when we're not on set. We sit, we read, we complain. A lot of complaints. Well, I'll just sit here. In the green room that's not green. Intermission! I'm so tired already. So, um, if you don't know the story, at the end of the story of Cinderella, we get blinded. We have glasses. I got a mic check. Hang on. Alright, but we have Act 2 to get to now, and that's when it is after Happily Ever After, so I die in the end. <laughs> so I'll check back in when I die. Yay! I die of starvation. At least that's what I have to do. guys, they're all sleeping. They're exhausted. It's intermission! I am changed back into my clothes for now until after I eat. Thanks be to God. And that was good. Glorious. Glorious food. So, so we've eaten, and now we're just kind of hanging. Oh my God! I don't even know you can see that. Hang on. All right, spooks. As you can tell. I am back in my costume again. It is time for us to go do the second show of the night. My family's now in the audience, so I can't screw up today, or now, tonight, whatever, what do you want to call it. We have a guest. 
And here we spotted the Milky White, who has delaced herself from her skin. <laughs> Spook, so, uh, theater is full of interesting things that happened. Live theater, you never know what's going to happen. You just got to act all through it. We just had to. The prologue, we couldn't hear the music, and we couldn't figure out why we couldn't hear it. Figured out the speaker on our side was not turned on, so our stage manager, assistant stage manager, had to go turn it on. And then as soon as she turned it on, though, we got this weird, booming feedback. It was just loud, and it, was, it happened twice while we were doing um, the prologue, and it was right near the end, so when the witch does her, if you don't know the show, the witch does this part where she says, you need to get the cursor first, I need a certain potion first, and she counts off what she needs, and there was no music for that. And then finally the music came back on for our bit, which is good, but you couldn't hear it again because it turned it back down. It was just the weirdest thing that happened. But theater is theater. Weird things happen, and we just got to act on through it. Yep. So here's crossing our fingers and knocking on wood spooks that it doesn't happen again. We'll see what happens. I'll see you at intermission. Intermission. Told you to be back. Yeah, so intermission, nothing else weird is going on. My family is in the front row, and they're laughing at everything I do. I think they're more laughing than I'm in pink. But intermission, and yeah, we're all just buzzing about what's wrong. We don't know what happened. But again, that's the beauty of live theater. So we have one more act to do, and then that's the end of our journey into the backstage of the little theater. Look who's with me. Hi, I love you too. Uh, okay, so if you can't tell, I'm home. That was a very long show. That was a long day of shows. That was two shows in a row. I'm surprised I'm still alive to make this. Look how cute he is. <gasps> Buddy, look. <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um so that was our that was our very first ever double show in Little Theater History. Enjoy this weird behind the scenes thing of my theater, of my little theater, with my favorite show of Into the Woods. You know, I just gotta say, you know, if you want, if you're, seriously, if you love fairy tales, um, go watch this musical. No matter where you get it, there's a movie coming out, but don't take that as what it is. You need to see this. Um, there's a production of it on Netflix. Watch it there. Or just, just, if it's anywhere, if you have a chance to go see it or be in it, please do. This will change your, this will leave an impression on you. And I hate to sound like that's, I hate to make that kind of statement, but it really does leave something with you. Um, you want to say goodnight? Do you want to say goodnight? Goodnight. I love you.